In this section, I will be doing Miranda from The Tempest, followed by The Jailer's Daughter from Two Noble Kinsmen. <laughs> I do not know one of my sex. No woman's face remembered, save from my glass, my own. Nor do I know more that I may call men than you, good friend, and my dear father. My features are abroad, I am skillless of. But by my modesty, the jewel in my dower, I would not wish any companion in the world but you, nor can imagination form a shape besides yourself to like of. <laughs> oh, but I prattle something too wildly, and my father's precepts are there, and you do forget. <laughs> Why should I love this gentleman? Tis odds he will never affect me, I am base. My father, the main keeper of his prison, and he, a prince, oh, to marry him is hopeless, to be as whore as witless. Oh, out to pot. What pushes are we witches driven to when fifteen has once found us? First I saw him, and I, Seeing, thought he was a goodly man. <laughs> oh, he has as much in him to please a woman, if it please him to bestow it so, <laughs> as ever these eyes he looked on. And next I pitied him. And so would any young wench of my conscience that ever dreamed or vowed her maidenhead to a young, handsome man. <laughs> oh, and then I loved him. Extremely loved him, infinitely loved him. Oh, the fairer spoken was never gentleman. When I come in to bring him water in the morning, first he, he bows his noble body, and then he salutes me thus. Fair, gentle maid, may thy goodness get thee a happy husband. <laughs> oh, oh, he kissed me once. I loved these lips the better ten days after. Oh, what he would do so every day. <sighs> what should I do to make him know I love him? For I would fain enjoy him. <laughs> Say I ventured to set him free. Oh, what's the law to that? You know, as much for law or kindred, I will do it. In this night, ere tomorrow, he will love me. <laughs> Thank you.